What's up everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I'm going to be breaking down why Bloody Roar Extreme is not a port of Bloody Roar 3. It is not any version of Bloody Roar 3, it is a different Bloody Roar game, just like how BR2 is a different BR game to BR1. So, starting off in chronological order, starting off with 3, I'm just going to start off with a couple things. Um, in Bloody Roar 3, uh, you cannot evade by just pressing G like you can in Extreme. You actually have to like press uh, forward and guard to evade. All right. All right. I proven my point. I don't gotta be perfect with the dodges. I'm just trying to like, you know, show off the important stuff. In Bloody Roar Extreme, I can press G to evade. I still have to time my evades, mind you, just like Bloody Roar 3, except the input is way more lenient. It's not as strict as Bloody Roar 3. Alright. So that's the first thing. That's that's the first diff those are the like the first key differences between Bloody Roar 3 and Bloody Roar Extreme. Now I'm not gonna list down every single thing because there's a lot, okay? Um, and trying to explain it is a little difficult, especially when I'm playing two games at the same time. You know what I mean? I'm not editing it like in a certain way to where like it's perfectly scripted and and, and structured. Uh, but we, we, we're gonna go back to Bloody War Three now. All right, perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is air recover, and I'm gonna try air recovering in four different directions. In Bloody War Extreme, you can do that, but in this game, you can't. All right, now watch. I tried to air recover forward. It wouldn't let me. I'm still air recovering in place. I tried to air recover back. It wouldn't let me. Tried to air recover upward to the left side. It wouldn't let me. Tried to air recover down to the right side. It wouldn't let me. In Bloody Roar 3, you cannot do that. In Bloody Roar Extreme, I can air recover forward. I can air recover backward. I can air recover upward to the left. And air recover downward to the right. Okay. Another thing is that when you air evade after you air recover in Bloody Roar 3, you can't press up in G or down in G or back in G to air evade. You have to press forward in G to air evade after you air recover. Watch. Alright, see right there after I air recovered, I had to press forward in G to evade in the air. Not evade on the ground, but in the air. So in Bloody Roar Extreme, if I were to do that. Alright, here we go. Alright. In Bloody Roar Extreme, if I get knocked in the air and air recover, I can actually evade just by pressing G. I don't even have to press a direction. Like, that's me just pressing G. I can turn my camera off just to show it to you guys. Watch this. He's going to launch me in the air. Hold on. Alright. Air recover, air evade. I just pressed G. I didn't even press a direction to do it. In Bloody Roar 3, you have to press forward in G to air evade. In Bloody Roar 3, if you try to fuse stance... Let me turn inputs off, just to like, not confuse people, but... If you want to do this, and then do your fuse stance attack... Also, pardon the delay, it might be delayed a little bit because I didn't mess with my like audio. Uh, I didn't mess with my delay settings on OBS. I just realized now, but if you want to do this fuse stance right here and then do the attack, whichever fuse stance attack you want to do, right? Um, in Bloody Roar 3, you have to hold guard and then double tap and hold down to do it. You cannot do it just by double tapping and then holding the second down motion. Or a press, rather. In Bloody Roar Extreme, all you have to do is double tap and hold the second down motion. You don't even have to, you don't have to hold G to do it. In Bloody Roar 3, I actually don't like that you have to hold G to do that. I can get behind pressing guard and forward at the same time to evade in Bloody Roar 3 right um but like on the ground and in the air however in bloody Roar extreme i prefer to just tapping double tapping down to you know do my fuse stance now i can see why people would think that doing this shit right here with evading could be like considered mashing but you still have to time it 
And plus, it's very risky to do that because if you guess wrong, you're gonna get smacked or you're gonna die. You know, it's no in, there's, no, there's no in between unless you just live. In Bloody Roar 3, there's a mechanic called Hyper Beast. Hyper Beast in Bloody Roar 3 uh, makes you really powerful, you're really fast. You have essentially uh, 12 seconds. Yeah, you have 12 seconds to go crazy. Uh, this this Hyper Beast is basically just rave mode from Bloody Roar 1, except it's on crack. Because you could do basically like five beast drives while you're in hyper form. However, the Achilles heel to that is the fact that you see my you see my beast my beast gauge meter? It's gone now. It's gone. I can't transform anymore. For the rest of the set for round two and round three, I can't even transform. So I have to I have to slug it out with my opponent for the rest of the set in my human form. Alright? So that's why Hyper is pretty uh weird or just bad in Bloody Roar 3. Nobody really uses it too much. It's best to use it in the last round, if anything, especially if you're in the advantageous state, like if you're winning the set. In Bloody Roar Extreme, well, you can go hyper, um, except there's a couple other things too. Characters have two attributes to their hyper forms. Like for example, you see how Shenlong's you see how Shenlong's freaking light guard didn't even break from that heavy normal that Long just did? That's one of his attributes. His light guard has heavy guard properties. So he's safe from heavy normals. He is, his guard negates them in his hyper form. But in human, you know, his guard broke. In beast, his guard broke. But in hyper? No. Shenlong also has any cancel point in his hyper form. Which means he could basically go crazy uh, in his hyper form. So he has, they have two attributes to their hyper form. And another thing, if you go hyper prematurely, you sacrifice your health. So it's a risk, it's a risk reward type thing. Right now my beast gauge is not full. So that means if I go hyper, boom, a chunk of my health just reduced right but if my beast gauge is full i won't lose any health see i didn't sacrifice any health none of my health went down just now another thing too is that when you're in your beast form you can also go hyper but the same rules apply if your beast gauge is not full you sacrifice health regardless if you're in human or beast however in bloody roar 3 you can only go hyper in your human form. If you try doing it in your beast form, not gonna work. Not gonna work. Those are just a couple, those are just a few things, just like clarifying why like Bloody Roar 3 and Bloody Roar Extreme are not the same game. I love both these games. I think Bloody Roar 3 is a solid game. It's a very uh, air focused, air heavy game, right? While Bloody Roar Extreme is a more grounded uh, game. And it's especially due to the fact that, like, you can't air recover in different directions. So if you get juggled across the wall, you know what I mean? Oh, excuse me, if you get juggled against the wall in Bloody War 3 and you air recover, that's multiple resets happening and you're gonna, like, get your health bar nuked because you don't even know that you can't escape it in other directions like you can in Bloody War Extreme, you know? So I just think that's really important to know. And uh, I've actually been dreading doing this video. Uh, however, I got pretty annoyed with the misinformation out there about Bloody Roar Extreme being a port of Bloody Roar 3 when it clearly is not. Just take my word, Bloody Roar Extreme is not a port of Bloody Roar 3. And just a little side note, Bloody Roar Extreme is Bloody Roar Primal Fury because it is literally the same game except there are gameplay tweaks and Fang, another tournament legal character from the Japan only Bloody Roar manga is playable in this game. Okay, he's not a clone or he's not evil Yugo or none of that shit, okay? Um, you know, I just wanted to throw that out, throw that in there too. Bloody Roar Extreme is basically the patch to Primal Fury. It's technically the same game, but it's tweaked. It's better. So, yeah. Anyway, see you guys later. You guys have yourselves a good one. Peace.